Hi, this is Rahul from Tech Tutor and welcome to the channel again. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create groups specifically for Agile projects and how to give permissions to those groups. Uh, this is essentially required for any project where you have you know, a, a, a group of people who you want to give special privileges to, uh, not applicable to the rest of the groups or the groups which are not following Agile. So uh, for this, you will require admin privileges. And uh, once you have those, as you all know, under the uh, on the right hand side, you will see administration. Once you click here under user management, you will see groups. OK, and under groups, the first thing that we're going to do today is just create a new group. And uh, I'm just going to call it as test agile group let's add this group okay so now here we have we have created a test agile group okay right here okay uh, we need to now start assigning members to this group okay so you can assign start you know uh, putting in the the names of the the people who are working in the project uh, for, for now I'm just going to put my name here so it's Rahul Gujar okay you can just keep on adding by comma separated field and you can you know keep adding uh, the names of the folks in, the, in your group okay so now uh, I have a group and I have a member now in this group uh, the second thing is now starting uh, with the permissions so we need to go and click on systems the systems tab on the on the top and under system you will see uh, the global permissions on the left side under security okay so let's go ahead with the uh, global permissions And now under global permissions, uh, these are all the global permissions like uh, for Jira administrators, Jira users, and all such things. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to create a specific permission scheme for Agile projects. So this will be applicable for all the projects. I just clicked on permission schemes. And uh, the, the best way to create a, a new scheme is just by copying the default scheme so that's the easiest way or if you want to do it the hard way you, you can scroll all the way down and you can just click on add permission scheme okay i'm going to go the easy way here so i'm just going to make a copy of the default permission scheme here it is a copy of default permission scheme let's uh, go ahead and edit the name for this agile permission schemes okay agile permission schemes uh, this is the scheme for agile projects um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on permissions okay so here we are uh, this is the uh, agile permission uh, let's say that you know you want to uh, grant a particular scheme uh, grant a particular permission to a particular person so click on grant permission and okay so under the uh, you know you need to now uh, see you know what permissions you want to grant uh, and let's say for now that uh, you want to uh, you want to give a permission where you know the folks in the group can delete issues okay let's let's just say for example you can you can you know go and uh, you know do the same for uh, any permission that you want for your group okay so I'm just going to select a group so here you can see that you know you can uh, give this permission for a reporter for a particular group for a single user if you want to grant a particular permission uh, out of one of these okay uh, you can do that the project lead is I mean by default as you you would have all seen that you know when you create an agile project in this tool you assign a project lead so you can grant certain permissions there as well or you can also grant it to assignees uh, if you have any custom fields uh, you know like an environment or not like this, this these are some things which we have created here for our projects 
so you can do all such things so for now uh, for this for today's tutorial I'm going to give it to the group and it's the test agile group that we just created okay and I'm going to say add so all the folks who are in this group are going to be uh, would be able to delete issues okay uh, if you look earlier delete issues was only assigned to the administrator uh, and not all the all the folks so with this you can you know you can uh, really try to do a lot of things you can create various groups within within your project uh, if you're working in an on-site offshore kind of model and if you want to give your offshore team certain privileges uh, you know you can do that so you can create multiple groups um, we have just done that we have created a permission called agile permission scheme now you need to also assign this permission scheme back to the project okay so I have this project agile test pilot project so I'm going to go back to this project and by default when you create a new project in agile uh, you know the default permission schemes automatically get supplied so if you have something which you have specified you would want to do that so I'll just quickly show you how to do that once you you can under actions you can go and click on use a different scheme this is the default permission scheme as I was saying so we can go ahead and change that now to the agile permission scheme And here we go the agile permission scheme and once you click associate uh, you know it gets associated so effectively what it means is the folks in the group that you have created and that group which has been now assigned to the uh, agile permission scheme and of course the permission scheme now has been applied to a particular project so uh, you know uh, we, again you know it means that you know all the uh, folks in the project are going to get that uh, those kind of privileges and benefits so uh, that's about it for today um, I hope this was useful as always you know please uh, leave your comments uh, on the on the tutorial and surely I'll get back to you thanks for watching again and uh, see you around